Welcome to another Grasshopper tutorial. I'm trying a slightly different format this time. What I want to do is use something that I've done for a recent workshop that was like a Saturday afternoon, three hour long workshop and share it with you and break it into some smaller chunks. The format is to use one of the Erwin Hauer screens and build this in Grasshopper and make it parametric and give us some variability with it. But rather than just use something that was kind of ready-made and just simply show how to build it, I wanted to take you through a process that you will find yourself doing um, where you might have something that you're trying to build. And what I want to do with this tutorial is to start with smaller kind of chunks of definitions and test proof of concepts along the way so that we're not just trying to build something and it works or it doesn't work is to start something and and so what i'll do is i'll work with a tangency curve how do how do we how does that work if that works let's do something two-dimensionally if something works two-dimensionally in one component let's make it three-dimensional. Once it's three-dimensional, let's look at how we map that across a surface. And so what I wanna do is take a longer uh, type of project, break it into smaller pieces, and share each of those individual pieces or those kind of um, thresholds or benchmarks along the way with you so you get a sense for how you might design a similar type of project or take on more complex projects that aren't just simply about kind of modeling one simple thing and then being done how do we how do we how does this evolve and how do we grow it and so where we'll get to with this tutorial is what you can see in rhino on the right hand side is one of the individual say erwin hauer kind of screen components but being able to do this three-dimensionally mapped to a surface and with a series of parameters that we can change both from how many uh, subdivisions we work with across the surface to its depth to a couple of other parameters within that uh, and then and that's the stage that i'm sharing here so we can see this is the live grasshopper version where we can see a larger number of subdivisions we can see that these are three-dimensional across the surface. The other thing that we can see are some of the variations, given some of the parameters that we have, as well as being able to change the surface and, and manipulate it in a number of ways. And eventually what I would add beyond what I'm showing here is even uh, an attractor point so that these parameters could start to vary across the surface as well. And so we can see it's a relatively simple definition, I guess, depending on your standards. Uh, and each cell or component within the overall aggregate system, we have to do things four times or two times, depending on how we're looking at it, whether it's mirrored, whether we're using the four edges. And so I'll take you through this process step by step. You can do it back to back, and I'll include the, the subsequent link for the next video. But you can also do this over a series of different sessions. And so I'm going to break them into smaller chunks and you'll be able to follow along. And I'll set these as part of their own playlist within the overall set of tutorials. So I hope this is helpful. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, let me know if you have any questions along the way. I'm looking forward to seeing what you build.